got my kids off to school and now I am getting ready to go for breakfast with my friend Brian and my friend Roniel and then I have to go do a school presentation and uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do after that but I thought I'd vlog. I haven't vlogged just sort of a typical day in a long time. This is a busy day so I always like to vlog when I'm busy just because it's more interesting than you know me sitting at home doing nothing um, but it's always kind of hectic when I do because I'm really disorganized and I never really plan ahead so I just woke up this morning I'm like I'm gonna vlog um, so now I'm kind of in a hurry so you guys are gonna get ready with me um, while I sort of finish making myself presentable for this school presentation that I have to go to which generally I'm like really chill about I don't I don't actually like get ready a lot I just kind of put on a little bit of makeup I'm gonna straighten my hair because I slept on it last night and there's a weird spot that is like kinky so uh -huh. <laughs> kinky as in like wavy <laughs> don't have like one piece of my hair with a fetish or something. Okay, uh, so that's the heat up. I'm going to put lotion on my face. My rosacea was like doing so good and then I woke up this morning like this. I'm not really sure what I'm eating or doing because I was eating really, I'm eating really clean. Um, and I ate hummus yesterday and a lot more vegetables than I normally would have eaten so I have a sneaking suspicion that um, vegetables and the fiber in them is kind of hurting my stomach uh, but I'm not sure so a bunch of you have told me to do the carnivore diet which I've been researching so much I definitely eat meat just in general but I'm probably going to um, experiment with the carnivore diet um, to heal my gut and my skin so I might share that on here more um, if you see what I'm doing with this weird weird system here that I have um, I'm using like this moisturizer um, and also mixing it with vitamin E oil and um, what's it called <laughs> vitamin E oil and castor oil because it seems to be helping lock in the moisture in my skin so that's what I'm putting on my face right now if you're curious I got this um really cool makeup from a place called Araza I'm not really sure how to say it um but it if looks could heal and it's like got only natural stuff in it so it's like coconut oil um that kind of stuff and uh, it seems to not freak my skin out too much when I put it on and normally I wouldn't put anything really on my skin um, but I have a couple of really red patches so I'm just gonna sort of dab it in the areas that are like super red this is probably not like the actual way you're supposed to put makeup on but I just dab it with my finger um, because otherwise it makes my pores look really weird. So that's what I'm doing. And I know it, my face is still red. <laughs> I'm not like doing crazy amounts of stuff. Uh, I'm just like hiding a tiny bit of the redness. This presentation that we're going to do today, um, the show that I was on Push on CBC, um, we got asked when it first came out to do a school presentation about disability and uh, we're going back to that same school to sort of uh, do a follow-up presentation on all the things that we taught the kids last year um, just to, to teach them more to tell them a little bit more about our stories so I'm actually doing this presentation with oh gosh maybe like seven people um, which is always fun and I get to be the moderator because I'm a teacher and they asked me to moderate so um, it should be fun. Uh, I like being uh, the person that kids get to see when they're younger to learn from so that, you know, they have an idea uh, about what disability is like and they don't make those, um, they don't form those biases growing up. Last thing I'm doing before I go try and like tidy up the kitchen before I leave 
is take some D-Manos before I go. I take D-Manos quite a bit during the day for anybody watching um, to prevent bladder infections and uh, it seems to work. So I try and take it a couple of times during the day if I remember. Okay, here we go. If you guys have never been to this place, it's called OEB. I don't know if it's all in North America, but it's delicious. It is delicious. They have like super healthy food. If you're a weirdo like me and love nutrition and don't like seed oils and things like that, all of their things are cooked in beef tallow. So they're very like health conscious in terms of, if you're like, um, what do you call it? Um, not like traditionalist. Ancestral, sort of like an ancestral diet. They have lots of things here that you would love. Uh, they have gluten-free options, uh, just really delicious. They have a whole bunch of like um, eggs bennies, lots of different cool things, um, duck, like Korean barbecue, uh, what else? Oh, they just have a lot of stuff. So I will show you what I get today. But if you've never been to OEB and you have one in your area, highly, highly recommend. It is a great restaurant. Last time I came, I just got like the traditional Egg Benedict, and it was like amazing. What can I get for us? Uh, we're both gonna get the, we're, you're gonna get the same thing as me? Uh, we're both gonna get the Farmer John Delight, uh, except I don't know, I'm gonna get the gluten-free potatoes and fruit. I don't know what you're gonna get. Same. Same? Okay. Same, yeah, for sure, so Farmer John's potatoes. And then for our bread, do we want it to be gluten-free as well? Uh, I'm gonna skip the bread. No bread? No bread. Can I get a side of hollandaise sauce? I really love your hollandaise sauce, so yeah. been very very hard uh, there's been a lot of positives that have come from having a disability too. yeah I call it being wonderfully conspicuous which means that you're wonderfully noticeable yeah. uh, and I think you get a lot more opportunities because you get noticed easier sometimes able-bodied people don't stick out in a crowd as easily as somebody with a disability and I use that to my advantage all the time I, I need somebody to assist me so I usually have care support, which is my lovely friend over there. Her name is Jitty. And we use a, a sling. So like oh, yeah. under that goes behind my back and under my leg. And it hooks to a machine that lifts me up and then slides over to the bed or the other chair. I 
I just finished um, at the school presentation and now I am actually going to the local rehab hospital uh, in my area uh, for a pizza night. Um, it's kind of like a place for peers to come and interact with the people that are newly injured in the hospital. Um, and I'm gonna go there. So I will not be filming there because obviously it is a safe space for newly injured people to be able to live and exist without um, a YouTuber coming in and being in their face. So that's not, I'm not gonna do that. Um, but I will continue to vlog after I am done. Um, yeah, the school presentation went really well. I'm always impressed, insanely impressed with kids questions and just thoughtfulness and I think kids are awesome and I wish that we didn't become adults because kids are way more considerate and brilliant than we give them credit for so always one of my favorite things to do is uh, do these presentations or even just teach on a daily basis where I get to interact with kids and educate them about disability and hear their thoughts on disability and hear their thoughts on just anything um, and answer all their questions. So it was so fun. So I will catch up with you guys in a few hours. Oh, I just finished uh, at the pizza night uh, at the local rehab hospital and it's, honestly, it's so rewarding. It was a little weird when you go in there and you don't know anybody, but when you start talking to people, it's so fun uh, to meet new people in the disability community and the end of the night, I spent talking to a guy um, that was paralyzed by a wave in Mexico, uh, which is a crazy story, but it was just amazing to sit there and talk to him and his wife and share stories of hope and, you know, just give him hope and just with, like, bleh, I'm not talking really very well, but being, being a source of support and inspiration for somebody that you know, isn't sure what their life can look like. That's so amazing to me. And to be able to do that for people is so, so cool and so rewarding. So if you are somebody with a disability and you have the chance to ever, you know, go to your rehab hospital for any of their sort of community building nights, I highly recommend you do it because I don't do it enough. And me and my friends just committed to going more often so that we can see each other and then also just build this amazing disability community in our area that, uh, does really change people's lives. And I also met another guy that breeds horses that's a paraplegic that, you know, does it all by himself. Like, it's just cool, the people that you meet. Um, so what a rewarding, what a rewarding day. Seriously, it, it was just such a cool day for me. Breakfast with friends and then um, doing the school presentations, which was awesome, and then coming here and doing this. I really do have a great life. I'm really so blessed and I have so many awesome people in my life. I'm a really lucky person and I'm so, so glad that I get to do this kind of stuff. I'm going to go home and see what else I can get up to this evening. Um, I'm not sure that I'll get up to much else, but I'm sure I will. I'm sure I'll do something else when I get home for a little bit. So I'll see you then. Bye. I got home to a lovely stack of Amazon boxes and Jamie wants me to open them to see what's in them. So I thought... Why not vlog about it? Because you guys want to see what I buy from Amazon. I know you do. You actually probably don't, but you're going to see it anyway. Okay, uh, first Amazon package. What is it? Dun, 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 dun. It is my D Manos UTI cleanse. This stuff is sold out everywhere. If you guys know why, please tell me because. I love this stuff and uh, I don't want them to stop selling the tablets because if you get a capsule, it's like floats in your mouth and it like is so annoying. And I take these at night and they're just easy to swallow at night. So this is my UTI cleanse AOR. It is D Manos plus cranberry. Oh, your Commercial for them. Second box is actually not from Amazon. It's from Yes Wellness. Bye. Paper. Look, more UTI cleanse because it was sold out on Amazon, so I had to find it somewhere else. So I got this one, and I didn't want to have to pay for the shipping from this place. So I got some more magnesium that I use. Magnesium bisglycinate is the best kind, in case you want to use magnesium. And I got some natural shampoo. Arctic Sun, Prairie Naturals Arctic Sun Hypoallergenic Shampoo, fragrance-free cleansing. 
because my skin. What's in this box? I don't know where this is from. It's blank entirely. This is something that I bought. And you, it doesn't look like anything, but I seen this on, um, not Amazon. I seen it on Instagram. Somebody was using it. It's called a kindling cracker and you put the wood inside and then you chop it and this like sharp thingy makes it easy to split. And apparently it's awesome. So we're gonna use that in the summer. And all the video I was watching, all these little kids were doing it. Just like chopping uh, with like a mallet and it was cutting the thing into kindling. So that's what was in that box. I know what's in this. It's my supplies. I ordered my catheters and stuff and I'm pretty sure this is it. Just a giant box of catheters. Jacob loves when I get my supplies. Don't you, Jacob? Yeah. Why do you love it so much? It uh, makes the recycling like 10 times less. <laughs> uh, it actually makes the recycling 10 times more because I take all of no, this out of the boxes and Jacob is, his chore is doing the recycling, breaking down all the boxes and putting them into recycling bag. And Jacob absolutely loves it when, uh, when I get my recycle or when I get my supplies. What else am I gonna do tonight? Well, I'm going to probably go pee, sit on the couch, watch the circle. What? Do you guys watch the circle? And then I'll probably answer YouTube comments on my phone. Um, so I'm going to leave you with scenes of me watching the circle and answering YouTube comments on my phone, sitting on the couch. Cause you guys all want to see that. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do now. Okay. Bye. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. What's up with that? Catch you on another one. Bye.